the supreme buddha said there are three conditions three reasons to be fulfilled in order to have a rebirth number 1 their mother and father's union number 2 the fertility of mother and father's uh, eggs number 3 this is the most important factor a rebirth a birth to happen that is called gandhab a departing consciousness from a death a mind uh, must descend to the mother's womb during the uh, the birth is taking place if there is no consciousness coming to the mother's womb to the fetus to the embryo there cannot be a rebirth so the mind occupation of a de uh, departed mind consciousness into the mother's womb is very important what buddha said there are uh, three ways of rebirth one is one descend to the mother's womb con unconsciously and stays in the mother's womb unconsciously and leaves the mother's womb unconsciously the second person he descend to the mother's womb consciously but he leaves in the mother's womb unconsciously and also he leaves the mother's womb unconsciously third person he descend to the the departing mind the consciousness descend to the womb consciously and he stays there consciously but leaves unconsciously the fourth person uh, he descend to the <coughs> mother's womb uh, consciously and he stays in the mother's womb consciously and he when birth is taking place he leaves the womb consciously these are the four types of rebirth that happens in human and other uh, sentient beings worlds namo buddhaya